What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to put green screen effects into your videos when you're using Shotcut Video Editor. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video so I can break down exactly how to do this yourself. And let's get right into it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, turn on the post notifications, really helps us out. Also check out the links in the description. I got a bunch of different stuff to check out, so go ahead, take a look. I got stuff for VPN, amazing VPN, and electronics that you're going to love. And let's move right on to showing you how to use green screen. So if you're here, I'm assuming that you already download Shotcut and installed it on your computer. So when you open it up, it looks like this. What we're going to do, um, you could either start a new project here and click start, or you can use one of your recents. Um, I'm just going to click one of my old ones. Okay, now I got this opened up here. And we're going to go ahead and click up here on Playlist. And I'm going to open up a green screen that I have saved. I got a couple of them. But if you don't have green screen, any green screen effects, you can easily YouTube it. YouTube the best green screen effects. Or um, there's a lot of different ones that you can find online for free. But the ones that I'm going to be using today are going to be... Um, they're going to be like uh, subscribe and uh, follow like Facebook uh, green screen effects and stuff like that. So let me go to my files and find them. Okay, I got some effects here. Now you see all these that got the green on them. These are all green screen videos. You can also use pictures like this. But let's go ahead and open this one. We'll do a subscribe, we'll do a like one, we'll do this one, we'll click open. Okay, now that we got them in our playlist, we can use them. So what you want to do is click on it, bring it to whichever um, track that you're going to want it. So say we're editing this track here with our video on it. You're going to want to put it above it. And you can always add tracks by putting your cursor here and right clicking. And click add video track. And it's going to add another track. Now you can also right click here. And click make track shorter. I like using it like this. It's just easier to work with. Okay now that we have our green screen clip. What you want to do is place it wherever you want in your video. So say we want it at this part of our video. We want it to start right here and end right here. And it has to be placed above your media track that you're working on. So think of it as layers. Like this is my regular video, the base layer. And this is going to be on top of it. So if it was underneath it, like down here, underneath it, you wouldn't be able to see. Because this video would be on top. And you're going to want to make sure that you are clicked on the green screen clip. And once you got it selected and your cursor's over it, so you can see it in your preview window, you want to come up here to filters. Now that you're in filters, you're going to click the plus button. And you're going to look for chroma key advanced or chroma key simple. They're both going to work. If they're not in your favorites tab, move over to your video. And they, could, they should be in here for sure. Now I'm just going to show you the simple one. And then I will show you the advanced one. Now you see how we clicked it and the green is gone. You can adjust up here. So if there's no distance, it's going to be green in the background. You can just move it up. 
and you see how the green fades away. You just want to play with this and bring it to where there's no green. And then you can click play on the uh, clip to see how it's looking. National Geographic. Because this one has smoke. Marvel, Star Wars. You can see there's still some green in there. So you can just play around with it till you got it how you like. I think that's looking pretty good. Let's play Pixar, again. Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars. And now, another thing what you want to do is you see how this subscribe is like all faded you bring the distance down a little bit until you see how you want it's real touchy so you see how i'm just right here and there's a lot of green and i come a little bit more and it's gone you want to make sure that your picture isn't fading away though too because your picture will fade like the subscribe and the finger and the smoke that could turn transparent and disappear too so just play around with it I think the sweet spot was about right here right there is looking pretty good now let's click play and uh, preview it Pixar Marvel Star Wars and National Geographic I think that's looking pretty and then good if you look on the far left there's you... still like a tint of green in there but th remember, this is the chroma key simple, okay? Now, if it wasn't working and it was still green in the background, what you'd want to do is click on this eyedropper and click on the green color, right? And then you would want to come and, again, play with it and see where it's looking pretty good. I think that's about perfect. Now let's go ahead and open up another clip and I'm going to show you the chroma key advanced. Let's do this like one. Now you just double click on it. Say we want to put it over here. We're going to bring our cursor over here and we want it on the third track this time. So we click on the third track and we can click this paste button. Or we can just drag it and let go. And there we go. So let's slide that down. Put our cursor line over it. And click on it. So we're working on this clip right here. And we're going to click our filters again. Click the plus button. And find our chroma key advanced. Okay, now that we got our chroma key advanced, what we're going to want to do... Click the eyedropper again. Click on the green in the picture. And sometimes it just brings the green, disappears. But sometimes it don't. Then you're going to want to come and play with the green data. Okay. You just bring it up. You know, mess around with it. See how there's green on the left hand side. And I come up a little and it's disappearing. Then you can mess with the red data and the blue. And same thing. Just keep playing around with these three. This one you can get a little more precise with. That's why I like using this. And you can also have presets. So you can uh, click, like once you have all your settings how you want it, you can click this plus button and it'll save under the preset section you can click right here and it'll be listed under whatever you saved it as well we're not going to do that right now i think that's looking pretty good let's go ahead and preview it movie series originals are stuff that are just specifically made. see how there was some movie green when it first popped series. up Oh, I guess not. Movie series. Yeah, there's a little bit of green. Movie series. Let's try to play around with that. So that's how to do the chroma key advanced. Now, remember, you have to be clicked on whichever clip you're working on. You see how if I click on this clip and we're under the filters tab, you have to be under the filters. You can see we're under chroma key simple. 
That's because we're working on this one. Now, if I were to click on this one, it says Chroma Key Advanced because that's the filter that we used. So, guys, I think that's the quick little rundown on how to use Chroma Key and green screen effects in Shotcut Video Editor. If this helped you out, if you like the video, if you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe. Turn on the post notifications so you know exactly when I come out with new videos. And smash that like button and let me know. Comment down below if this helps you. And comment down below if you know any other tricks. There's a lot of people that are going to watch. And if they read the comments and you got some tips for them, that's great. It will help everybody out. And one last time, check out the links I got down there in the description. Yo, the VPN uh, for the IP Vanish got that deal going on, 75% off. So just never be at risk online. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.